Hey, what's going on, guys? You got TLR here back on the battle spot, and this time we've got some uh, VGC action, right? We're on the VGC battle spot today using a QR team I found uh, from no one in particular. I just went on to the global link and chose a team that I thought was pretty cool looking. It has a Buzz Bowl. That's a cool Pokemon. So, yeah. Uh, I'll leave the link to this team in the description below if you guys feel like you want to use it. And with that, let's just hop right into the battling. Just going to be your standard dot BGC live. Nothing too special here. So, yeah. Uh, we find our first opponent of the day. And as you can see, I don't actually have a lot of points myself. I uh, haven't been too busy on the battle spot lately. Uh, we see what looks to be another trick or team. So, gotta watch out for that. Um, let's see. I do like Gastrodon in this matchup a lot. Gastrodon Porygon 2 with Buzzle in the back. I definitely want to bring Buzzle for that, his own Porygon 2. Uh, maybe Gengar, because Gengar is nice for the Tapu Koko. Can also hit the Celesteela kind of hard. Gigalith can also work for the Celesteela. What does Gigalith know? Let's see. Rock Slide hit the Guard and protect. Alright. Actually, he doesn't have a Rock Resist, so I do like Gigalith here as well. Plus, if he decides to attack a uh, Gigalith or Celesteela, I can live a hit as long as he's not like beast boosted or choiced or something like that. I don't know what people are running on their Celesteelas now these days. Uh, but I should normally be allowed to be able to live a hit and then get that weakness policy boost, so that'll be kind of clutch. We see the Tapu Koko Marowak lead. That is fine. Uh, unless we see like Grassy and Z Grass, not, in which case Gra uh, Gastrodon will be uh, a goner. Basically. We get the download boost. It is a special attack boost. That makes sense. Uh, I could just double attack the Marowak. Nah, I can't double attack the Marowak because the Porygon 2 doesn't know any boost to hit Marowak. He's probably mid-speed Marowak. I'm, I'm, con I'm, I'm trying to decide whether I want to set up Trick Room this turn. I think I won't. I think I'll actually attack and then attack the Coco. And um, then Trick Room next turn. Hopefully he doesn't paralyze me. He does paralyze me. Actually, that might be good because now we're going to be slower than Marowak and Trick Room. It'll only be bad if we get Parahexed. So he actually doubles up on the Porygon too, trying to prevent Trick Room. It's not going to knock me out, but I didn't go for the Trick Room because Marowak would always beat me. We do get the Tri-Attack off, so that's good. Uh, with the special attack boost, it looks like this will knock out the Tapu Koko, so that's also good. Will the Skull knock out uh, the Marowak? I don't think so. Most Marowak should be bulky enough to take it. Yeah. He, he did have some uh, Flare Blitz recoil, though, so that's why I was like, maybe we could knock it out. Here we see the Celesteela. Um, um, I think I think Marowak's actually going to protect is what I think. So I'm going to scald the Celesteela and attempt to trick her. Obviously, he's pro he's probably what he's going to do is protect Marowak. And then have Celesteela attack Porygon 2, and that's probably going to knock it out. Actually, he goes for the Leech Seed, so if we don't get if we don't um, get paralyzed here, we get the Trick Room off, which will be nice. Can we burn him? No. But we do get the Trick Room off, so that is good.
Now the question is, is my paralyzed Porygon 2 faster than my gas duck? Because if it is, I do have Thunderbolt on this Porygon 2, and the electric terrain from his top and Coco is still up. So he could scald the Marowak and then Thunderbolt the Celesteela. So how slow is my Porygon 2? It is min speed, okay, that's 58. I think that's min speed anyway. And my Gastrodon is 39, so half of 58 is what? 29? So yeah, it looks like my Gastrodon is faster, which means it's slower in Trick Room. Which means I will actually scald the Marowak and recover my Porygon 2 here. Hopefully we don't get paralyzed, hexed, or whatever. We do, unfortunately, but we do at least get to knock out this Marowak. So that's good. Uh, we do dodge, so that's pretty clutch. Uh, yeah, I'm so good at this game, right? Anyway, um, that's fine. Let's see what his last Pokemon is. It is his own Porygon too, okay. He's going to get, I think, the attack boost, yeah. Um, I don't want to switch right into Buzzwool. I could switch right into Gigalith, though. And I do think I want to recover here. Attempt to recover again. I could, again, Thunderbolt to Celesteela, but neither of his Pokemon can do too much to my Porygon 2, so I definitely want to keep it alive. Or at least attempt to keep it alive. Unfortunately, we do get paralyzed again, though, so be able to get the leech seed up. I don't know if this leech seed will finish me off. It probably will, but I wasn't actually paying much attention to... Oh, well, with Sandstorm, yeah, it'll definitely, uh... I'll definitely go down to Sandstorm plus leech seed, yeah. So, we do lose our Porygon 2, but that's fine. I mean, we dodge his leech seed, he gets two para hex. it's just fair is fair, I guess. We don't know if he has Substitute or Flamethrower, though. So if he doesn't have Flamethrower, this Buzzwool can, like, really pressure that Celesteela. And, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to Rock Slide and Hammer Arm the Porygon 2, because most Porygon 2 don't carry Protect. So I'm just going to assume that this one doesn't as well, but... If it does, that's I guess that's fine as well. Hit him up with the hammer arm. Boom. Not going to kill, but is going to do a lot. And then hammer arm plus rock slide plus uh plus sandstorm should knock him out. So he does have the flamethrower, but we are assault vest, so we're going to eat these up both pretty well. Uh unfortunately it does burn me though. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's actually within range of, uh, Sandstorm, unfortunately, but it is what it is. I don't know how fast his Porygon 2 is either. How slow is my Buzzwell after a speed drop? 102... We're at about a third, so that's about 60 some. So, if it's mint speed, we outspeed it. I'm going to rock slide again, and I'm just going to leech life. I don't want to risk missing if we do outspeed it. I want to be able to take down this Porygon, too. Uh, the Celesteela does outspeed me, but I think I'll win this, maybe. No, I won't. So, unfortunately, uh, don't take that thing out. I think it should be fine though. Uh, unless he just leech sees my Gigalith and never attacks it. Because the general plan is to uh, get the weakness policy boost and then he won't be able to heal enough. That's the general plan. But, you know, sometimes your plan doesn't work out. You do have the Gastro in the back. And he did get the special defense boost, right? Yes, he did. Which is again fine. Um, 
I could protect expecting the leech seed, but I don't think he'll go for leech seed. I'm just going to scald the Porygon too. He's probably going to um, recover again. He does go for the leech seed. He just he refuses to attack my Heaglet. Either that or he doesn't actually have a uh, steel type move. He's flamethrower, leech seed substitute, which um, that would be an interesting set, I guess. So we're going to go for a burn on this Porygon too. Hopefully we can wear it down, but we do not get it, unfortunately. At least we're doing enough damage to the Celesteela to prevent it from early recovering that much. Probably, I'm guessing he's going to protect here so he can recover a bit more. Yeah, it looks like he's not going to attack my Gigalith. I'm going to Heavy Slam the Porygon 2. That should do more than a Rock Slide. And I'm going to Scald again the Porygon 2. Yeah, the cell steel does go for the protect. So Yeah, a bunch of RNG in this game. I don't know how how much of the RNG would have mattered, I don't know how much the burn mattered or the least seed dodge or all that stuff. No burn on my part though, so okay. And we get a crit, so Yeah, what 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 are the odds, right? We do have the Leech Seed on Gastrodon as well, so, uh, I mean the Citrus Berry. So that is something. I'm going to now Rock Slide and Scald attempt to burn the Celesteela to mid midgetate its healing. Because yeah, it just looks like he's not going to actually play the game, he's just going to Leech Seed, Recover Stall. This is boring. I'm sorry you guys have to watch this. It's not, a, it's not something that people want to see. But, you know, there's nothing I could do about that. Unfortunately, we do also miss. Hopefully, we can just crit and kill this Celesteela. But we do not. Yeah. I'm just going... Technically, I can still win this game. But I don't want to force you guys to watch it. Because the odds I'm going to win this game are just very small. And, you know... I doubt anybody wants to watch this. This is not entertaining. It's not fun to play. It's not fun to watch. So, yeah, congrats to my opponent. He's just... Yeah. Looking buttons. Okay. That's fine. We'll come back in the next game. Hopefully we'll find somebody who's not, you know, running technically stall. Because that's literally what this guy is doing right now. Which is unfortunate, you know. Those para hacks really did matter, though. If I had recovered once with the Celis, uh, with my Porygon too, I think I could have prevented the uh, Celesteela from recovering enough, and then came back. But you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you just don't get lucky. In a best of three, he probably couldn't have got as lucky as he did, but it's fine. We'll come back in the next game. Hopefully. Yeah, we can get a game worth watching. I might actually just cut that first battle out. Nobody wants to watch that. Here's the second opponent of the day. Someone from Japan again. I guess all the Japanese people are out now. It, this is very similar to Eren's first team. He's got that Torkoal Lilligan plus Oranguru Torkoal. Two modes, as well as the Trampa. And then he's also got the Tapu Lele and the Silvalli, which I'm guessing is Choice Banded Silvalli. I could just lead Gengar and counter Trick Room. So if he tries to lead Silvalli or Anguru. Yeah, I do like that because that's pretty good against any combination he could lead. I also think I'll bring Talon Flame because that can priority destroy the, uh, the uh, Lilligan if he decides to go with the faster mode. I want to bring. Gigalith as well, and I think Buzzwall. Because Buzzwall does well against everything. Bar. Yeah, I do like Buzzwall here. Buzzwall. Alright. So this looks like it's going to be a little easier of a matchup as well, because the team is a little more offensive. My opponent's team is a little more offensive than 
the last guy. So we're going to hit him up with that Gengar Talon Flame lead, and we're going to see the Sil Valley Oranguru. Okay. About what I predicted. Um, I kind of don't think he will... Uh, I'm actually kind of thinking he won't explode because I have Gengar. I think he might like crunch. But just in case he does, I do think he'll Trick Room with Oranguru, which is why I'm going to Trick Room with my Gengar. Counter Trick Room, and I'm going to protect my Talon Flame just in case he does decide to explode. I don't think he will, but you know, if this turn goes the way I want it to, protecting here should be fine. So he does explode. Unfortunately for him, the only person dying is his Silva. The only Pokemon dying is his Sil Valley. Because Gengar is immune, his Guru is immune, and my Talonflame protected, so. And uh, I Trick Room up. Does he negate the Trick Room, or does he predict my own Trick Room? Actually, no, he had to in Trick Room, because he couldn't go after my Trick Room if he did go for Trick Room. Trick Room is the, has the least priority out of all moves, so, yeah. So we do prevent the Trick Room from going up, that's good. He sends out his Drampa, and now to prevent the Trick Room, he could protect, uh, but just in case he doesn't, I'm going to uh, Supersonic Sky Strike the Oranguru plus Sludge Bomb, and that should knock out the Oranguru, the combination of those two moves, unless he's like Citrus Berry or something, uh, which I guess he could be, but I do expect him to be Mental Herb on this kind of team. So we're going to get off this supersonic Sky Strike. I haven't used Talonflame since Gen 6. It's been a while, hasn't it? And ba-boom. So this is going to do a lot. Uh, yeah. Looks like it puts it into Sludge Bomb range. Hopefully. Because this is max special attack Gengar. Oh, just barely. Just barely. Uh, he goes for the Thunderbolt. Doesn't knock out my Talonflame. Does get the Paralysis, though. And the Orange Guru does set up the trick. That should be fine. I do have Gigalith in the back, which can, you know, put in some work. I'm actually going to Sludge Bomb the Drampa and Brave Bird the um, Oranguru. And what this does is my Gengar has Sash, so Gengar can't go down unless he double targets or like has Surf on Drampa, which he might because he does have Telepathy on Oranguru. That would be fun if he does have Surf on Drampa. Surfs plus Psychics into my Gengar slot. But I still think I should be able to, you know, get this done. Either way, I'm going, I should be able to get an attack off unless he pulls out a set even hotter than mine. But nope. So he does double into Gengar, probably predicting the Sash. Uh, at least I'm guessing he doubled into Gengar. I actually disabled his Dragon Pulse with my Curse Body. <laughs> and it looks like I'm actually slower after Paralysis with my, uh, slower than the Orange Guru with my Talon Flame after Paralysis. So that's kind of funny. Uh, prevent him from actually being able to take down my Gengar, which means I'll be able to Sludge Bomb the, the Drampa. So yeah, a little bit unfortunate for him there, getting the Paralysis on my Talon Flame will to be slower. I do activate his Berserk, and he does have Citrus Berry as well, so it looks like I could activate his Berserk again. Um, he's going to send in the Torkoal here, that's fine. Uh, I have taken down two of his Pokemon, so once I send in my Gigalith, uh, he will be out of... Uh, he'll be out of um, Weather. But I don't want to send it in right away because the Drampa does have the uh, Berserk up. I don't want to. I could double protect you to waste some turns of, uh... Oh, he protects with his Drampa, which kind of makes sense. Because he's probably going through eruption with his Torkoal. Yeah, so that's going to knock out my uh, Talonflame, which is fine. I don't think I needed Talonflame anymore. Um, 
I could send it Buzzle. Um, because, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna send it Gigalith. So, this will get rid of his weather. How many more turns of Trick Room? Two. Alrighty then. And my Gigalith is the Gigalith min speed. It is, it is, okay. So it should be slower than the Drampa. So. Um, I'm going to actually Sludge Bomb here and I kind of want to heavy slam the Drampa because I kind of expect Torkoal to protect So that's the plan I'm going to make. Nope, he just eruptions. Okay. That is fine. That is Okize. Because I should be able to... Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Actually, because this will knock him down below Berserk again. Actually, it won't. Apparently, Drop is a little heavier than I expected. That does a lot, though. Maybe I should have rock slid there. I did expect his Torkoal to protect, but alas, that is not what he ended up doing. And I don't have protect on my Buzzwool, unfortunately. So I don't know if I can tank this eruption. I do have the Assault Vest, though. I'm going to attempt to Beach Slide the Trampa, and then I'm going to rock slide. Actually, well, hold on. Did the Drampa get another Berserk boost? It did not. So what? Uh, but then he'll probably... Nah, yeah, you're right. He'll probably attack the Gigalith then. What I could also do is Ice Punch the Drampa and then Protect Gigalith. Because that way... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I do expect him to double target the Gigalith. If he does go for the Buzzwool, I think I can live an Eruption since I am a salt vest. I might not be able to, but Torkoal doesn't have a lot of special attack. So let's see if we can. We cannot, okay. So that's gonna be unfortunately a good game. Uh, Cause he's just going to outspeed me next turn. Yeah. I, actually, you know what? That's probably Specs Torkoal is what it is. Yeah, it's things like this. Like now I know, okay, yeah, that's Specs Torkoal. It makes sense. In a best of one, I couldn't have predicted that. But now, it's like, okay, yeah, that's kind of obvious. Gonna get off that Dragon Pulse. Uh, probably going to knock me out. If it doesn't, I'd be surprised. Because he is at plus one. Yeah. Man, I I'm gonna get another battle. It has been, you know... It's gonna be a bit of a longer episode, but I hopefully can end this off on a W, I'd kind of embarrassing myself right now. But hopefully we can get a win with this team. You know, give, give it some justice. No, I don't know, I want to save the next battle. One more battle. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can find somebody. Hopefully there's not a, uh, a drought of players on the uh, battle spot. That would be a little unfortunate. Our final opponent of the day is from Spain, uh, rocking uh, what looks like another Trick Room team with the Marowak, the Mimikyu, Garchomp, Gyarados, Tapu Koko, and Gastrodon. This guy's going to be Trick Room Mimikyu. I kind of want to lead Porygon to Gigalith.
Buzzwool's not bad either. Although, uh, we have to watch out for the Mirror Whack because Buzzwool can't actually touch it. Gastrodon actually is nice here as well. We have to watch out for his own Gastrodon. So what deals with that? I kind of Buzzwool, but the thing is, uh, we could get burnt by Skull. I do think I want to bring Buzzwool though. Because Buzzwool dealt. Uh, uh, um, Buzzwool also checks the uh, Guard Chomp, right? And we don't have Ice Beam on our Porygon, too, so. Checking the Guard Chomp can uh, be really nice here. I just realized that this team doesn't have Intimidate. Which, I mean, a, a team doesn't need Intimidate. But, you know, it's always nice to have it. Intimidate is one of those things that I think is very important. Not necessary, but very important on a team. So he leads with Coco Gyarados, which is fine. I half expect him to, uh... To... Actually, I don't even really... I don't know if he has Taunt on his Tapu Koko. I feel like he might. Which is why I want to go for Thunderbolt here. Actually, I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with Thunderbolting the Gyarados and then Rock Sliding. Because that way, even if he does switch into Marowak, it'll have to take a Rock Slide. So Gyarados actually goes for the Protect. Does he have Taunt on the Tapu Koko? He... I don't know. He goes for the Thunderbolt. Uh, I think that pretty decently. And this Rock Slide, how much does the Rock Slide do to Tapu Koko? Hopefully we don't miss. That would be unfortunate. Okay, so we don't miss. That's good. Uh, it doesn't even do half, so this looks like a bulkier Tapu Koko. Unless I'm not running Max Attack on this Geeklith, I didn't actually check. I should probably check that right now. Oh wait, no, the Intimidate, duh. See, this is me being forgetful. Oops. So I'm gonna actually switch into Gastrodon right here. And I'm going to Rock Slide again. This way, because I half expect him to Z-move with Gyarados. And rather he goes for the Z-move on Geeklith or Porygon 2, Storm Drain will absorb it and waste the Z-move. I don't even know if he has Z-move on Gyarados, honestly, but I kind of expect him to have it. Let's hope my prediction is correct. Nice. And yeah, it is the Z-move. Oh, go it. Okay. It could be the Supersonic... It could have been the Supersonic Sky Strike that, uh, the Bounce Gyarados was released in Japan. Although, I think it's only legal if you're using a Japanese 3DS. So hey, we waste that Z-move. But then again, he, he just because he's in Spain doesn't mean he's using his Spanish 3DS. I'm ranting on about things that aren't important at this point. So, let's see. He also has a Gastrodon. But since I'm at plus one, Ice Beam will knock out Tapu Koko, so I'm going to Ice Beam and Rock Slide. I pretty much expect his Gastrodon to come in here. Okay, so he protects Gyarados, that's fine. He's going to go for the Grass Nut, so he does have the Grass Nut. Although Gastrodon's pretty light, so this won't kill, and we do get the Citrus Berry Recovery. And then Ice Beam should knock him out, but even if it doesn't, Ice Beam plus Rock Slide definitely will. And even if Rock Slide misses, Ice Beam plus Sandstorm definitely will. So, yeah. You knock out the Tapu Koko. That's good. And of course, the Gyarados protects. Buffeted by the Sandstorm. That's fine. And what are we going to see come in here? It's going to be the... I'm guessing his own gas are done. Nope, the Mimikyu. Alright. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to Scald the Mimikyu then and just Rock Slide. Yeah. And hopefully uh, burn the Mimikyu, but I obviously can't rely on hacks. But, you know. Um, yeah. Gyarados goes for the Ice Fang. Not going to do too much. Mimikyu goes for the player off. Just 
trying to knock out the Gastrodon. Uh, it does end up knocking it out, but as long as we don't miss this Rock Slide, we'll also knock out the Gyarados. It is Life Orb Mimikyu, and we don't miss, so we can knock out the Gyarados here and break the Mimikyu's disguise, so that's good. Yeah. So we're in a pretty good position here because Beaglet has not taken any damage. Um, I can't remember what he had in the back, which is kind of a little, it's a little frustrating. He did have the merit whack. I'm gonna bring in the Buzzwool. Cause I want what I want to do is switch out my uh, Gigalith that way. Cause this should be the last turn of Sandstorm. Yeah, it is the Marowak. I can take a player off and then attack the uh, Mimikyu. I probably won't knock it out. But the plan here is to Ice Punch the Mimikyu and switch into Porygon 2. This will reset the Sandstorm as well as the. Uh, as well as my Intimidate. So let's see what he, my opponent does. Actually, after Life Orb Recoil, Ice Punch might knock it out. The Marowak goes for the Protect. He might actually go for a Trick Room here, which would be better for me. Yeah, so it looks like he's going for the Trick Room here, but my Gigalith is mid-speed. So obviously that's not going to knock out the Mimikyu, but since my, um, Uh, Gigalith instant speed, it'll be slower than both of his Pokemon. So that's good. Uh, I'm just going to... Actually, you know what? Poison Chop does more than Ice Punch. I don't know why I went for Ice Punch. And I'm going to recover here. He could Flare Blitz my Porygon too, which would be fine, but he'd be taking Recoil. I might also be faster than his Marowak and Cedric Room because it is the mid-speed. Uh... Oh, he actually has the Brick Break. Okay. That's interesting. That's also pretty good because, uh, again, I'm pretty sure I can live a play rough. But it is Life Orb, so. Yeah, Fuzzle has really good physical defense. We do get an attack drop, though, so. I don't know if this poison job will knock it out, but it, it, uh, it is after Life Orb recoil. Worst case scenario puts it within the next Life Orb recoil range, yeah. And of course, we send it, uh, our Gigalith right here. And I think the Sandstorm would knock it out, even if he, the Mimikyu decides not to protect. So I kind of want to go for Rock Slide. Actually, do I have a reason not to go for Rock Slide? Because I'm the slowest thing on the field. And besides, Mimikyu's don't usually carry protect. But yeah, so I'm, I'm going to go for the Rock Slide. Hopefully we don't miss the Marowak. Although I should eat, I should be able to live a brick break, and I should be able to live a bone rank too. Um, yeah, he does protect. I kind of thought he might try to un uh, undo the trick room. Hopefully, we don't miss. Okay, good. So we can knock out the Mimikyu, and that means the trick room is going to stay up, and that means we are still going to be faster than his Marowak with with our uh, Gigalith. And also, Rock Slide is now single target. So. Just going to go for another Poison Jab on the Marowak and another Rock Slide. Uh, we don't miss. Single target. This should knock out the Marowak. Uh, it doesn't? Okay. Goes for the Shadow Bone. Most likely not the Buzz Wolf. Yeah. So that's going to knock me out. But after two turns of um, Sandstorm, yeah, the Marowak's going down. So, how many more turns of Trick Room? This is the last turn. All right. Actually, you know what? Heavy Slam will knock out Marowak, so that's what I should go for. I, w I wanted to protect uh, because I didn't know if, because uh, if I missed Rock Slide, and then he got like a crit bone meringue. 
I could lose. I didn't want that to happen. But I also didn't know if Sandstorm would actually finish him off. I couldn't really... It, I mean, it probably would have. I couldn't really judge it by that little sliver of HP, though. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode of BZC Live. Very interesting team. Uh, yeah, and if you guys uh, decide you want to use it, uh, it'll be in the description below. The link to the QR code, anyway. And yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later. So...